Good morning, Eagles. On this rockin' Thursday morning, we have news, a look into the vending machine, and a sneak peek into some cross country. Break out your sunglasses because this show is about to shine. What is up? I'm Addie Matthews. And I'm Taryn Cagle. Today is the last day to buy your back to school dance tickets at the regular price. Price increases at 3 p.m., so you can purchase at Simple Ticks. Students interested in National Honor Society and National Arts Honor Society, now is your time to apply. You can find further information for National Honor Society under Honor Societies on the school website. If you wish to apply to the National Honor Society, you can find the application under Arts and then Visual or Performing Arts on the SM website. Applications are open until September 17th and September 16th, respectively. Club Rush is today during both lunches. Make sure you head to the gym and check out the amazing clubs offered this year. Esports trials continue today with Rocket League, Rainbow Six Siege, Mario Kart, Hearthstone, Minecraft, Wars, and Madden NFL Football. Head to S209 at 2.30. Now that announcements are done, I can say that we are I am so excited to be back in these hosting chairs for the first last time as your favorite duo. I really cannot believe we are already on our fourth week of school. That's only like 38 more weeks until graduation. I know, that's crazy. This year is already going by so fast and we are so busy with everything going on. Exactly, we barely have any free time. I don't even have time to look at the news. That's wild, but honestly, I don't think I have the expertise to fill you in on the latest news, but I know someone that has the best job of doing it. Let's see it, Chloe. Good morning, Eagles. I am Chloe Veneziano here with today's news. The National Weather Service is warning of a broiling heat wave headed towards Southern California this week bringing what is expected to be the hottest temperatures of the summer. Temperatures can reach up to 108 this week, so make sure to stay hydrated and be cautious of physical activity. Meanwhile, in the tech world, Apple recently announced the production of their latest iPhone Model 16, which is due to be released on September 9th. This iPhone features a new Siri with deeply integrated AI, as well as updated messages and mail apps, which use AI to generate appropriate responses. If you are a student who is not the best at writing emails to teachers, or if you are a parent who is unable to send more than a basic OK in response to your child's paragraph, this new model might be the perfect purchase. On a more serious note, the war in Ukraine continues as Russia strikes targets Lviv and several other cities in western Ukraine, injuring 30 and killing 7. As of now, the whole country of Ukraine has been placed under an air alert. Please send your prayers out to these families. This is all I have for you today. Now sending it back to Taryn and Addie. Chloe's always so great with the news. For sure. In turn, have you been buying mini snacks from school lately? You know what? I haven't. I probably should be, but it's because I don't think I know what to get. I've got to highly recommend the vending machine. It's so quick and easy, and you're on your way to class in no time. Oh, that's great. But do you know where I can find more information about this lucrative vending machine? <laughs> um, yeah, I do. Raquel and Lexi are your girls for the job. Take it away. What's up, SM? I'm Lexi Ackerland. And I'm Raquel Andrella. And, and this, this is Big Back, Back and Give Back. OK, I'm here with Rocket and Gunner. And what is your guys' favorite thing from the vending machine? It's like Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. In order to get your Dr. Pepper, you guys have to do five push-ups. <laughs> and for your push-ups, you get two Dr. Peppers. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Talia and Sam. And what are you guys' favorite things from the vending machine? Um, the Arizona. Yeah, the Arizona. For the Arizona, they gotta play rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. And lastly, we are here with... Valentino. What is your favorite thing from the vending machine? Uh, my favorite thing is the Sour Patch Kids. For your Sour Patch Kids, you could do any trick. <laughs> and for your super cool trick, you get your sour patch. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank, Thank you for watching, watching the first episode of Big Back and Give Back. Back. I'm Raquel Andrella. And I'm Lexi Ackerland. Bye. As always, that was awesome. Yes, and maybe this is a dumb question. Were you at last week's football game? Is the Pope Catholic? Of course I was. It was a blast. I'm also looking forward to cross country this season, though. Everyone on the team is so fast. I don't know how they move their legs that quick. Yeah, and honestly, as a golfer, I think I can run pretty fast, too. Mm, not even close, but we should put it to the test one day. Yeah, honestly, maybe you're right. But in the meantime, let's see what the cross country team has been up to in the start of their season.
What's up, Eagles? I'm Mason Nguyen, and tonight I'm here at the finish line of the grueling two-mile race at the Cross Country Saddleback Cup at Tribuco Hills High School. Now, first question. Since it's the beginning of the season, how have you guys practiced and prepared for the first meet of the 2024 season? So we've been doing morning and afternoon doubles, which include hill repeats, mile repeats, and recovery days to make sure that we're ready for this race. Wow, that must be very challenging. But what can we expect out of the 2024 cross country season? Um, so for our girls team, we're expecting to be better than last year and our spread from first girl to seventh girl will be shorter, which is very good for our team. And hopefully we win CIF finals. Great, but when's the next meet we can expect our Eagles at? Uh, the varsity team is going to be in Hawaii, but make sure to come out and support the lower levels at the Laguna Hills invite on September 14th. Wow, thank you very much. But how do you guys stay so focused and determined throughout the cross country season? Um, well, we are very close as a team and we've gone through like a bunch of different bonding events like Mammoth and just keeping a positive mindset when racing and praying together as a team and yeah, just working together and going through all the hard workouts together. Wow, that must be a lot of bonding experience. Well, you heard that Eagles, be at the next meet to support your fellow runners and athletes and I'll see you next time. Sending it back to the host in the studio. Those runners are such studs. You definitely are nowhere near that. Still, maybe I could compete a little bit, but anyway, Addy, I've had the best time getting back in these hosting chairs with you, but if I'm not mistaken, it's just about time for you to get back to psych and meet a business. I think you're right. Well, Eagles, we will be back soon. I'm Addie Matthews. And I'm Taryn Cagle. Have the best Thursday ever, SM.